All right guys, so moving into the new house, got tons of stuff back here. So I couldn't fit the radials, so I was just gonna leave them at my dad's house. But I was like, no, I'm gonna bring them. They are strapped on. They're not going anywhere, I'm positive of it. So let's make our way. It's only about an hour drive, and it looks like race car to the fullest. All right guys, it's the next day. I got that shifter finally fixed in my car, and it is a million times better. Me and Gavin have an idea. Today is going to be a day of exhaust. Okay, so we just pulled into the exhaust shop. And we're gonna go see if we can get some exhaust. Um, um it's kind of full today. Yeah, there's people everywhere. Is that I don't their house? It looks like their house. We have like six tow trucks there. Well, they're a towing company. <laughs> Alright, so we're making our way. Hey, keep your eyes out for the trooper, because the trooper might be here. See. I feel like I'm in the weirdest place right now. Dude, it's the biggest. So like that tree line over there, it goes over that tree line. And there's more cars back there too. What? We saw one Mustang. It was actually a V6. And I don't want a 7.5 rear end. I want an 8.8 .8 that has limited slip in it already. So I'm looking for a GT. Just more, more cars. I'm letting you know right now. If we come across the trooper, I will start like screaming in happiness. Just keep your eyes peeled for it's it. It's on fire! Fire! <laughs> it is on fire! It is on fire! It's on fire! It's on fire! Those are like the trooper's famous last words. It's on fire. So check out the trooper burning down. That was like pretty much my debut. Oh look, there's that V6 Mustang right there. I was wanting to buy that car. It's manual. He wanted forty five hundred dollars for it. What? Yeah, that car right there. Uh, like it says, it runs and drives. It runs and drives, but forty five hundred dollars. Oh, I paid six hundred. All right, keep on rolling. There's gonna be this path down to the left. It's the right. We're gonna have to walk a ways down here. I'm sorry in advance, but we're gonna have to do some fun stuff. Where the hell are we going? It feels so weird because I just left my truck like a mile and a half behind us. How far does this go? It goes a ways, dude. This place is a lot bigger than you Imagine it to buying be. 80 acres of property and being like, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of cars on it. Okay, so there's a bus. There's, well, there's several buses. Do we definitely semi -trucks. taking a four wheeler side by side? There's an ambulance. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a. Oh, bro, we're not gonna cross that. No, I did before. It's all good. Dude, there's frogs everywhere. Where we going dude we're going to the back of the like junkyard <laughs> oh man my toes are wet <laughs> <laughs> this is louisiana for y'all what the hell are we doing we're looking for a gt rear axle next time we come here we're buying us on the side we're just gonna buy it so we can go get stuff from the junkyard all right here's one i'm gonna be honest that looks like a v6 from way back here yeah, but look at all these beer cans oh. What? Bro, those are 420s. Bro, these 420s are in great condition. Oh, never mind, they're rotted pretty bad. This ain't bad at all. Dude, it's got full interior. What? Please be a GT. It's a freaking V6. Literally every single one of these cars is a V6. Are we done? Where are we at? Are we in the very back now? Um, I think it goes further, but I don't know. Make sure you watch your feet so you don't get bit by a snake. We'd die. We wouldn't be able to run to the truck. So we're back going the other way on this road. Didn't find a GT rear end. Still looking for that. There is a spider on my camera. He lied. Oh, my feet got wet. Oh, where are we going? Somewhere. I think I found it. Oh, are you kidding me? No, I'm being dead serious. We came here for that? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told you, I'm getting exhaust on my car. Let me hold the camera for you. Make sure there's no snakes in the hole. Thing looks kind of heavy for an exhaust. What in the hell? This is it. This is the exhaust for my car. There's this here exhaust for a semi truck. It's a little rough condition. $10. I'll take cars. $10 and he's gonna put it on his car. What an adventure this was. What you need is a cutting torch so you can cut off that broke car. Really well, right. we had one, but Poe burnt the tip of it. Someone said I was good on air and the air ran out. That was not me. I said, hey, there's Definitely not air. air. Can one of y'all help me move this by chance? Hey, Paul, there's some weird stuff coming out of there. So are you sure that you want this? Yeah, I'm positive. Let's go. Get a wash out. What in the <laughs> This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. It's literally shitting things out as we go. Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I bet we could knock 100 pounds of gunk it's out of It's full of a lot of weird it's stuff. Of and leaves. Oh yeah, that's why it's so heavy. Ugh, this place is gross. I swear I'm gonna have ticks all over me. Ew. I really feel like I should not have volunteered my truck for this. Love you guys. Are you itching? You done got in the red box? Okay, I'm gonna wait here while you go pay. I don't understand what he's doing. It's not gonna work. Oh yeah, I know it's not gonna work. He's like 200 and some pounds. Yeah, but it's Poe, so what can you expect? Poe is fantastic. He's a great person. But sometimes he's just uh, a little bit too much. We literally came all the way out here to buy a 
18 wheeler exhaust stack and now he wants to put it on his v6 mustang <laughs> well i didn't know we were coming to pick up this large of an item i told you i'm getting a semi truck stack you told me we were coming to get a exhaust for your car so i said sure and here we are getting an exhaust for your car <laughs> if that thing spills out all that shit in the back of my truck i'm going to be upset i'll probably cry and um, i'll just power wash it and be upset for a while all right guys so i started working on my little stack here because i knew it was heavy there was some stuff in there but look at this this thing is legit full of stuff it's honestly probably the reason it's it was so like heavy it at least weigh 200 pounds like honestly like 200 pounds can you hold these with a grinder real quick oh boy now nah, there's still stuff in there i think there's something blocking it on this side why is there so much water in here and why is it not coming out? So in here, you can see, it smells awful. There's a lot of stuff in there. This idea might be a little rough, but I'm still gonna make it happen because I want to make it happen. So I'm gonna do a little bit more brainstorming and we'll get back. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like straight shit water. I bet you that's what the water in the toilet looks like inside a crack house. You think so? Yeah. Because they don't spend their time cleaning, they spend their time doing crack. They probably can't afford a water bill either, so it's probably just like, they're just shitting on the porcelain. Somebody in the comments is going to be like, well, I've been doing crack for 17 years now, and i got the cleanest water in the city. <laughs> I'll do. All right, guys, since I filmed this video, a few days have gone by. I wanted to put the semi-truck stack on my car, but I did have a problem. A whole tornado happened. So the best, closest thing I could get to exhaust stack, semi-truck hoods, not a semi-truck exhaust stack. There you go. Closest I can get to that is sadly going to be some dryer ducting. And I'm just gonna straight pipe it up like this. That's what the car is gonna look like. So it's gonna be pretty tall and pretty funny. I don't like the fact that I can't use the semi-truck stack anymore. Yes, because it actually went missing during the tornado. All I know is I'm gonna make that work. I'm gonna keep on rolling and I'm gonna see what I can do with this. So here is my exhaust setup. I got this stretchy bendy pipe or whatever the heck the stuff is. I'm gonna slide that directly over the exhaust. So that's gonna slide right over that. Perfect, that's great. That's gonna work. I forgot, I don't even have to use a 90 bat down there. All I need is an adapter. That mug will fit in there. Actually, I need a better adapter. So that's gonna go in there. I need to stretch this a little bit. All right, let's slap that doggo in there. Oh no, it broke. Oh man, that's not good. I know it, that might be good. We're gonna make the most of it. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on now, break off. Why is it so flexible? There we go. Let's roll. All right, all right, all right. Oh boy. So now what we gotta do is since I got that on, I got some hose clamps here and I'm going to hose clamp. Um, I wonder if I can loosen it anymore. Oof. All right, it's a flathead screwdriver. I don't even have my impact or anything. What? You know what? If it's not a flathead, it is an eight. So I'll use an eight. Eight, nine, ten. ten eight and ten are missing. What? All right, this is awesome. So is my small ratchet. Where the heck is it? Half my shit's missing. Tornado guy. Not cool. Caleb's been using my tools. Caleb, what'd you do? What'd you do, Caleb? I'm not blaming it on you. I'm just saying you're the last person that's used them. Perfect. Also, if y'all never knew, you can take like a screwdriver. These are usually the free ones from Harbor Freight. If you just use the inside of this, it's an eight. So, all right, so now that guy's tight on there. It ain't coming off. So I can set up my exhaust to do this and then, oh boy, I dropped it. It's dented, but not bad. Oh boy, let's go. Please fit. All right, so now I've got the world's longest exhaust tip. Well, maybe it's not the world's longest, but it's an exhaust tip. Does it sound cool? It honestly doesn't sound that bad. It is rolling coal. My car is not healthy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Give a little bit of throttle. Ooh. This sounds great, more and more. On the rev limiter. Oh! Yes, it was. Dang, that sounded good. We're gonna figure out a way to mount this up, and I'm gonna drive around like this for a few days. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go back to the store yet again to get more parts. It's supposed to be tractor thingy, and then turned into AC ducting, and then turned into uh, dryer ducting. So let's get that figured out. I'm grab my flip blobble. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna nail that to the bumper. That's gonna be perfect. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna bend this bracket just a little bit. Perfect, freaking perfect. All right, there's one. 
There's two. It almost stays. Okay, I actually really like that. I know it looks dumb, but I really like it. <laughs> that is perfect. Oh my God. Dude, what the heck? Go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and turn it on. I'm really curious to see how this actually goes. All right, give her a little bit of juice. Oh, the whole thing moved. The whole pipe moves. <laughs> This is awesome. You really do need to see it. Who said you can't have fun with the V6 Mustang? Everybody. Want to know who said you can? Me. This is the best thing since sliced bread. All right, guys. Don't know what it is. Don't know why, but it, that's it. I thought that would be kind of cool. So next step, I want to get under the car and completely take the muffler out and see what it sounds like. But I freaking love this. This is great. Honestly, like it doesn't look bad at all. This is literally my favorite thing that I've done to this car. Just because it's like the funniest thing. It's not going to be permanent by any means. I mean, it'll probably fall off on the highway if I was driving. But it's just one of those things that's like it's just funny to see it just sounds so freaking good this makes me happy for some reason i'm not even gonna say anything to anybody i'm just gonna leave it there and when they pull up they're gonna be like what the f <laughs>